But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? The feds are coming for him. Vince McMahon is now under investigation for the allegations that pop up with him because of misconduct that he has had while he was in WWE. Well, probably even way back before that. But the people who are saying bad things about him are saying that it has been recently, at least within the time that he was the WWE chair, uh, they've been the authorities have been interviewing women who accuse him of that kind of misconduct. Federal authorities have been investigating assaults and trafficking charges against WWE co-founder Vince McMahon, according to people familiar with the investigation. Pro prosecutors in New York in recent months have been in contact with all women who have accused McMahon of misconduct, the police said. The billionaire resigned last week for from the wrestling empire he long ran after former WWE employee Janelle Grant filed a lawsuit accusing him of abusing her and trafficking her to other men inside of WWE. McMahon has denied Grant's allegations and said the federal probe won't find any wrongdoing. He referred to a statement from last week, I intend to vigorously defend myself against these basic accusations and look forward to clearing my name. WWE did not respond to requests about the probe or the individual women's allegations. Over the summer, federal agents ex executed a search warrant for McMahon's phone and delivered subpoenas to him for documents related to any allegations of such of things that you can read right there. The transactions, the harassment, discrimination against current or former WWE employees. The grand jury subpoena described the Wall Street Journal <clears throat> offers the first window into the investigation, which began in 2022. So it's been going for almost two years now. The journal reported in 2022 that McMahon had made payouts to several women. He accused him of the type of misconduct that is being accused right now. While he was CEO and the prosecutors were investigating the payouts. The subpoena also sought communications between McMahon and these women, including Grant. The businessman, TV personality, resigned as executive chairman of WWE parent TKA Group, which was down 0.92% on January 26th, the day after Grant's lawsuit was filed. Her complaint contained graphic depictions of those type of acts and copies of explicit text messages. Grant said that at least four women claimed in the grand jury subpoena had entered into settlement agreements with McMahon over the allegations of that type of misconduct. Prosecutors have interviewed some of the women the people said. Grant's lawsuit said McMahon agreed 2022 to pay her $3 million to keep silent about the relationship, which he said began when they met in 2019 at his luxury apartment building, where Grant also lived. Grant, who worked in the talent relations and legal departments of WWE from 2019 to 2022, said in her lawsuit that McMahon stopped paying her after her initial $1 million wire transfer. The other women named in the grand jury subpoena include WWE contractor, whom McMahon allegedly sent unsolicited photos and harassed her. A former WWE wrestler who said McMahon coerced her into giving him that, that you know, the, the O, the O sex, uh, that type of stuff. And a uh, former WWE referee, Rita Chatterton, who publicly accused McMahon of R-wording her. A spa, spa manager who said McMahon, uh, you know, hurt her at Southern California Resort. And a former WWE employee who alleged the head of the talent re relations at the company at the time, John Laurinaitis. Loren Aranitis demoted her after she broke off an affair with him. McMahon has long denied the allegations by Chatterton. First made publicly televised in interviews in the 90s, he agreed to a multi-million dollar settlement in the late 2022 without admitting any wrongdoing. Basically, he uses money to pay for that kind of stuff. McMahon um, hasn't addressed the allegations by other women. Laurenitis also appeared in Grant's lawsuit, which said McMahon directed her to visit Laurenitis. Uh, okay at his hotel rooms where he, she had relations with him before the start of the workdays. The suit also alleged that the two men took turns restraining her and hurting her inside of WWE offices in one occasion in 2021. Now that is really horrible stuff. Lori Knight is a former wrestler known Johnny Ace and longtime WWE executive, left the company in 2022. Lori Knight is, hasn't publicly commented on the departure. Lar, lawyer for Lori Knight is Ed, Edward Brennan said, we deny any and all allegations and will vigorously defend the charges against Laurinaitis in the appropriate setting. Brennan said Grant's lawsuit doesn't highlight any examples of Laurinaitis making any kind of demands or exchanging any items of value. Count how many times in the complaint Vince exerts control over both the plaintiff and Johnny. He wrote in an email referring to the client. It's a good complaint. It just doesn't list all the victims, including Johnny. McMahon briefly left WWE in 2022 during board investigation and returned in early 2023. Soon after, he neg negotiated the sale of WWE to Endeavor Group, owner of UFC Mixed Martial Arts League. 
Theo created a new public company called TKO Group until the last week he served as its executive chairman. TKO Group had warned investors about the risk of associating with WWE's longtime leader, who remains a major shareholder in securities filings last year. TKO Group said McMahon's presence on its board could result in negative publicity and any further allegations and investigations may have an adverse financial and operational impact on your business performance. Don't have a creep on your board, and maybe you won't have these issues. It has been known for a while from the people what have people have told me. It has been known for a while. This dude was abusive. This dude was um, not necessarily the best guy out there. He isn't known for being the nicest person out there. He isn't known even for treating his wrestlers very well. He isn't known and or loved by his former employees. I guess there's some that will. But uh, a lot of them have no, no, no love lost for him. Now, this is the part that I find funny. People freaking took to Twitter and are roasting the guy. He deserves to be roasted and, of course, be freaking buried under the jail, in my opinion. Let's go. Let's see what this happened. This guy, Brian Jarvis, says, Well, this Vince McMahon segment has aged like milk. Now, I'm going to ask this. Yes, nice this is this is Hulk Hogan, by the way. So you can comprehend the question and answer it correctly. <laughs> okay. He's are Mr. America. You a sick, perverted, power-hungry freak? <laughs> no. Well, yeah, that was a lie. We all know that was a lie. Well-respected businessman the world over. Of course it's wrong. All right. I do what I do for me and me only. That is correct. Let yes. Let me tell you this. I am no pervert. <laughs> Okay, look, I understand people won't like this section of the video. I understand you can hate me all you want in the comments, but this guy is horrible. We're talking about this guy. We're making fun of this guy. We're not making fun of the allegations. We're not making fun of the victims. We're making fun of this tool over here. And I, I mean, innocent until proven guilty in the court of law, yes. But the court of public opinion kind of says he's a jerk. So I kind of believe the court of public opinion on this one. He hasn't, doesn't have a very good uh pr when it comes to that kind of stuff i guess people don't really believe him when he says he's a nice guy i will let you guys decide whether he's a nice guy or not this is the mad salvi my socials are down below i do appreciate you watching this as this is something that i've been looking at and not really going into until i saw that there was something federal going on then i decided to make a video on it of course Comments down below, let me know. Of course, like and subscribe as well. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, afternoon, whichever one it is in your area. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. I appreciate you. I really, really do. Bye-bye.